Welcome back, all you crazy cool people. This game edge. We're back in subsistence, and yes, we are dealing with a. I can see him at nighttime. So, oh, did I drop? Leave a log here. I did leave a log. Wow, not good. All right. Um. Yeah, they're right over there, right on top of this ridge here. So there is a hunter base right here. I can't cross past there without. I'm starting to see. Well, hearing. Shouldn't say see. I'm hearing them running around and coming after me. Uh, so yeah, I've been trying to log as much as I can, trying to get as much to do. So I spent a whole day doing pretty much going around getting uh, some crates as much as possible. It wasn't great, I'll be honest with you. I've uh, been hitting a dry spell. <laughs> so I actually have the water well going at full throttle. Uh, tomatoes are starting to lower down the amount of I have, so I'm going to have to plant some more, but that's going to cost water, right? So I have to get the water well going. I uh, also need upgrades on a couple of things, and also would like to get a couple of other things built. So this is our defensive wall. Uh, we are going to try and build this all the way around on the other side here too. There's a little gap on the side. We're going to close this off. And what this is going to do is going to give me a little defensive until... Um, just in case Cole Game decides to put in an attack uh, feature where these guys come at us. I just want a little bit of a leeway. So our chickens are doing well and all that. Uh, once they get to level 10, unfortunately, one of them has got to go. And that rabbit, uh, I know some of you have been attached to it. So he might live. You know, if I feel like I should take him apart. Uh, that one over there, unfortunately, will be the first one to go. Uh, they do give me eggs and stuff. There we go. We got another eggs, which is kind of nice. We can eat those. And it gives us protein, which is really, really sweet. Uh, but again, these guys are costing me a fortune in water. And of course, this is costing us electricity. Hey there, Fang. How you doing? Good. Yeah, just just stop drinking and eating so much, costing us a fortune here. Uh, I'm going to drop another water here like this with blueberry. At least it gives us a little bit of food and stuff. We're going to get some more plants going. Man, I always feel like they're going to come crawling up, well, crawling up, creeping up and coming to kick our ass, but it's okay. They're not coming right now. Uh, what we're going to do is, we'll do split. Actually, this is split. One. Oh, I'm just not doing this one. Two, three. I should probably exaggerate. Three is probably too much. And we're actually going to get some tomato seeds. I, forget, I think it's eight. Anyways, that. And, of course, we'll do a full shot of this. And we're probably going to need some water for that. We're also going to do one blueberry. There we go. <laughs> the door always... Me and that door, I swear to God. Uh, okay, yeah. So water is actually not that bad here. I don't have to worry about that right now. And fertilizer is fine. So we're just going to drop these in here. We're going to plant our tomato plants. And we'll let this go. Obviously, our generator is turned off. And that's not good. <laughs> it's running out of fuel. Okay. And as soon as it's finished, it's pretty much, it pretty much makes a big-ass noise. So that's pretty cool. At least it tells us when it's ready to go. Uh, we are going to throw in uh, food. Yeah, two tomatoes. Just enough. Perfect. Let's bring up enough water so we don't have to waste any more water. Uh, this guy, we're probably going to turn off for now. Uh, we are close to the 1500 mark. And I kind of want it to be around there because uh, we're going to build ourselves one last thing. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm thinking before we build a fridge. I want to build a fridge because I know a lot of you want that damn fridge. <sighs> but we can build ourselves... We can get ourselves a couple of keys, couldn't we? Lockpick. Yeah, we could get ourselves a couple of keys. You know when you feel like you you ha you should get the keys and just go and get the lock crates? I think we should do that. And after that, worry about that fridge. We're not using it anyways. There we go. Beautiful. Let, let's do this. Let, let's splurge for today. We're going to go and up the amount of stuff we're going to get. So we just need some metal. And what else was it again? Always forget. Always forget. Uh, lock pick. And 16. Wow, that's a lot. I would probably forget more than anything else because I don't actually use it very often, right? One. Two. So we have two in queue. I know a lot of you are going to be very happy about that because they've been asking me and I'm going to do it. I said I was going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right. So we're going to put this in here. We're going to turn this baby on and we'll get this rolling. She'll soak up the electricity, uh, but we have no choice. We do have to bring in some, uh, probably some power efficiency here, which reduces by 25%. Probably be the logical thing to do, but we need 700 power and 150 mass. We're just going to let that roll and it gets itself back up. We're going to bring our lock picks with us. And yeah, they're both there. Perfect. 
And we're going to drop this off and drop you off. I guess we can do a couple more of these while we're waiting. Again, I just want to craft as we're going. As much as we possibly can. Uh, we don't want to be stuck running out of stuff. Uh, and I want to get as much of those done because obviously I'm going to be building again. Uh, there's more build to be done. There's more things that need to get done. And yes, there's going to be some builds on a secondary base. So I know a lot of you have been asking. And yes, that's going to happen. That is going to happen. That is a thing. I promise you that is going to happen. All right. Let's just drop this off. I'll drop you off. And nothing we need here. We're going to drop it off. That's perfect. Just get over there. And we'll keep that. All right. Lockpicks are staying with us, obviously. Uh, we keep you a shotgun. Oh, yeah. And also, yesterday, I was able to craft a couple more rounds. So we have SVT rounds. Uh, we're back up to here. Uh, it would be nice if we can actually craft our gun up at 650 power. Okay, when we come back, maybe. It would be nice to use a 9mm and have it upted, upgraded. Like, I keep on saying that, but that's something that's going to happen. Today, we're splurging. We're getting a little bit out and about craziness. And hopefully, we'll find ourselves some lock crates that we need. Uh, wood, we don't really need at current time because we've done it quite a bit. But. Sorry, I'm listening. But. Uh, we would. It would be a good idea for us to get out there and. And get some logs anyways, if we can. So in other words, once we get exhausted and all that, we'll, we'll use that. So we, now we have two lock picks. Oh, there's one. Not a locked one, but is that a crate? Wow, that was really weird from far away. It looked almost like a, a fern, but anyways, that's cool. <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. I'm hoping we'll find some lock crates and... But again, I always worry that with the lock picks coming out, that they'll no longer show up. It's always that way. It's always that way. But prove me wrong, game. I know some of you are saying I have problems finding seeds. All of a sudden, um, I answered that I'm having problems too. And I'm only finding them in lock crates and so far the base. And look at that. I found tomato seeds. I'm not sure if I'm just because I have too much on me. I don't know. I don't know. It may be that. It just may be that. All right. Let's pick up some scrap iron. Scrap metal. Again, always looking at rocks to make sure there's no uh, copper because I'm kind of low on copper too. So the refinery is going to go and it's going to do it until it, it can't do it anymore. It's going to hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get quite a bit done because it just wiped us out clean. So thankfully enough, we were mining and we have all the extra resources that we can actually refine too. That's, that's really sweet. Now, this looks like a dry run around this area. Oh, there we go. Oh, the other one over there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, black bear. Uh, actually, another thing in the common fields, you guys were mentioning that black bears do seem to smell. Uh, well, they seem to be able to smell us a little better than the rest of them are. You know, the other grizzly and stuff. I I, I kind of got to agree. Got to agree. Kind of agree sometimes. It feels like the black bear uh, does do that. I don't know. It's never been tested in a factual. I have to put it in some kind of test. Uh, we'll see how it is. Maybe it's just luck or the angle. Because I know when they turn themselves around, they can't seem to smell us as well. Uh, that's both bears. But I know the black bears are aggressive too. So we got to be careful. The hunter's base is right around this corner. But there is two crates right here. And we're not going to say no. Especially these kind of crates where they're giving us water and resources that we need. I also see some plants there. Oh man, water again. It's a better lock crate. Let me just see how far they are. They're right around that corner. Yeah. We are gonna have to attack them sooner or later. I just want to bring the SVT rounds back up. I'm gonna run and get this. Because I can make biofuel of that once I have enough of them. Also make uh, medical. Bring back up our health. And also adrenaline shot. So, I mean, it's it's very useful. It's a very useful plant. Let's check and see if there's anything else I'm missing. I hear something. Might be that black bear. I know there's one there somewhere. I caught that last second. <laughs> I can see cotton fields, you know, you just ran by some fiber. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really don't do it on purpose. Sometimes you're listening, you're talking, you're getting things going. And 
I thought I heard Grell. Uh, yeah, you, you get a little distracted, unfortunately. And I hate losing crates, and I hate going back and seeing videos. And I do see them, too, because I watch the entire video again to make sure it's up to par. And, uh, yeah, that is a thing that happens. Is that a crate? Or are you just happy to see me? Oh, this medical plant. All right, cool. I saw a shadow. I wasn't sure what it was, but I'll take that. Any day... Okay, there's a f fiber there. I mean, I'd like to see... Okay, there's some crates down there. I see it. And we've got a grizzly right here. And a crate right on that rock. All right. That is a thing. I'm going to have to climb it up. Hopefully that grizzly... Oh, great. We've got a problem with the wolf up there. And a level one bear. How useful is this crate? It is useful, but not useful enough to go and take out two animals and waste that many bullets. Especially if we have lock crate keys. We have the actually lock picks. It would be really nice if we can find ourselves a couple of locked crates today. Usually I'm finding two, three of them. I think they'll just make me salivate and I will have the lock pick. They're going to sit there going, hey, you wanted one? Oh, hold on a second there, Game Edge. Back that free train up. You're not getting that. I'm not getting none of it. No, I'm sure that's going to pop up. It's a matter of finding it. I should duck it on. Right beside another base. Right there. Hopefully you guys can see it in distance. That's when we attack last with a grenade. On the update video. And yeah, the, the grenade, obviously, I saw Cage uh, tossing the grenade down low. Right beside the actual base. I'm not sure how it landed, but it looked like the explosion was right in front of the door. And that's Cajun for right there is my buddy. And uh, yeah, he seemed like it made it made an ex you know, did some damage to the door. He was able to do, I think it took three shotgun blasts. Unlike us, I think it took us four or five uh, to get in. So, oh, son of a bitch. What level are you? Level two. What do you have there? What do you, what do you have there, buddy? Uh, you can growl all you want. I want to find out what the hell you have. You might be worthwhile a kill. You got yourself some water there, don't you? Kind of parched. I'm, uh, how many bullets do I have? 18. I should be able to take down, like we've talked about this also in combat fields. Uh, I took down a level three bear, uh, sorry, level three wolf with one shot, really close range. Obviously you have to be close range. I can see those hunters way out in distance running, walking around. Oh shit, just take a damn thing, brother. Yeah, really got away from close. And actually I think being in this position here, crawling, uh, does do a good oh, good job because it seems like I can actually hit him right in the face. I mean, that's valuable right there. One shot of a shotgun. Then again, shotguns take the most casings, right? So yeah, that's another thing, right? Don't they take the most casings? Uh, they take four. Is that it? Or they take a six. That's it. They take six. These ones take four. And these ones take one. So yeah, that's definitely the most casings. Those are usually the hardest thing to find. So, therefore, yeah, that's expensive. But, one shot, one kill. I don't like that. I don't like that the hunters are out this far, though. They seem to be really coming out a little further than usual. What you doing, game? I just got a lot of that. Go back. It's greed. I want it all. I don't want them to have it. That's what it is. Can we just see whether or not Cold Games will put up those uh, new grenades? Again, some people are a little frustrated by the grenade part being added. I don't understand why, but I mean, there's a there's a reason for everything that Cold Games does and progression. There's a lot of things we want. I know. I want a lot of things too. I want multiplayer too, guys. I'm not going to lie to you, but I'm also wanting to work. I don't want to be on a multiplayer server that doesn't work. So I'm willing to wait. I waited out and get used to the game. Does it look good now, right, guys? You guys get yourself all primed up, ready to go. We get into multiplayer, and it'd be a whole lot more fun. I mean, it's going to be PVE or PVP, I guess. Obviously, it's going to be a choice you guys are going to have to resound with and choose. Choices can be tough. 
I kind of like to do both, I think. But with the AI Hunter, it definitely changes the uh, PvP aspect of it. You can be attacked, and all of a sudden the Hunters have AI, well, they have behavior, so their behavior starts coming out at you. I don't know. Whoa, shit. I'm right in the middle. Got a bear on my left. Got a wolf on my right. I'm stuck in the middle of you guys. Steel wheelers, man. Steel wheels. Still love that movie, too, damn. I always love that song, but that movie... Yeah. Uh, sorry, the Reservoir Dogs. I'm just looking because I saw the bear coming. I was like, oh, no. Here we go. Okay, now that we have two lock picks, for God's sakes, give me a fucking locked crate. Please give me a locked crate. I would appreciate a locked crate at this current time. Make me salivate every single time for these damn things. Must be low on something here. I know I'm running a lot, but... And I'm telling you now, if you haven't played this game, running is the best thing for you. You can change directions really quick. You hear a growl, you obviously go back to where you came from. Change directions right away. I'm just moving up my uh, my stamina if you guys are wondering why I'm actually logging right now. Miles will wait and just put out some more. Here we go. Uh, wood. I'm not sure why that's stuck up there. That's the second time it's happened to me where it, it seems like the emblems are stuck. There we go. And we're a little bit low on fruits. We're going to eat. Probably help us keep up our stamina too. That's going to be a thing too. If you're health, if you're healthy itself, it's going to be a lot easier. Yeah, he's thirsty as hell. So am I. Sorry for that. I have no choice. Dry throat. Too much time in arenas playing hockey. That's what it is. Spending too much time in arenas, it dries out your throat like you wouldn't believe. All right, we're going to go hop back here. I see a crate on the left-hand side top there. I'm sure some of you saw it too. Probably most of you have. And that's a good crate, this one. Oh, and potassium. All right, cool. Now, potassium, if you don't know, that's actually to make gunpowder. So that is a thing. That with ash, you can make yourself some nice gunpowder on the, on the bench. And the weapons bench is the best thing. I mean, it, now that gunpowder seems to be still available, and he's not going to change that for a while. So, ooh. Remember what I was saying about copper? Yeah. That's a good find right here. I wish there's a couple of them. That would make my whole day. Looks like it's a variety. It's a little buffet. Okay, some more scrap iron. This load does want to give me a lock crates. Now you might see crates just respawn behind you after you've passed by, and that does happen. But I haven't seen it in a little bit. For some reason, it seems like it's null and void now. So maybe it's just my loads. I don't know. I see a crate down there below on the left-hand side, top left there. I'm always looking even when I'm mining. <laughs> As long as I'm striking it, I'm all good. I'm just going to check the top of the hill before we go down and get that. I'm sure some of you want to go up here too, anyways. Always best to check out the entire surroundings. There's two crates now, I see. That's even better. That's even better. Three crates. Is I mistaken? Yeah, one, two, three. And some fiber. And a wolf. Level two wolf. Nice and easy. You better shut up or else you'll get some. I'm sure he's coming after me. I think he changed his mind. He smells his brother in, uh, on me right now. Oh shit. I don't know where he is. I was going to run up this hill and see which angle we have to worry about. Okay, that black bear, that was far away. Maybe their sense of smell is a lot further. I'm not sure if that's a real thing in nature or not. 
I know grizzlies are really good, but maybe black bears? I don't know. He's warning us. We'll keep on warning. Just don't come running. Okay, got level 3 wolf there. Okay, he's got some fiber on the hillside. I'm not desperate enough for that. I'm going to go across here. I see some fiber right here. Nice see as soon as I eat, our stamina kind of stays a little more stable too. It's kind of nice. Oh, shit. He's out far. Oh, no, that's, a, that's fiber. I thought it was a, a hunter, sorry. I thought that was a hunter, like, kneeling. That's that's funny as shit. I was positive. I was like, he's expanded his friggin' territory. Yeah, they're right over there. I can see him walking. Okay. Let's follow the loot. But here, it always seems to go dead for a bit. And after that, we pick up a whole bunch on the bottom here. But it's not every time. When I did a full day, I came around here and I didn't find very much. Just take some high road, make sure that wolf is not coming after us. Yeah, he's... He was chasing. Yeah, there's a crate right there on the bottom. All right. Be careful not to break our leg. All right, all right. This ammo crate, ammo crate. Let's go. All right, good. This pistol round is going to be good because we do want to upgrade that uh, that pistol, nine millimeter. We want to do it as fast as we possibly can. Because I mean, we we might as well utilize it. Bring up. Oh shit! Where'd you come off of? Damn. You just slide off that rock like a little ninja. Can you go back up that rock? Can you show me that? Yeah, just show me that. No, just go up that rock and show me how good you are. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with it. Doing a good job. Keep it going. Keep it going. Very good for your size. Very good. <laughs> Shit. Be careful. The grizzlies seem to go after us for a lot longer time, I find. Maybe it's just me. Bad experiences. So I, I tend to really like to get the hell away from them. Alright, really, this is actually a pretty good loot run, even without the locked crate being found. Alright, let's look up the sky. Oh boy, we gotta make our move back to our base. Big time. Of course, as I say that, potassium. I hear something. Black bear. Getting ready and pressing one if I need to. All right, let's get ourselves back around and back out. Man, I'm finding a lot of this scrap. Is that a crate up there? Oh, shit, brother. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not even a crate. You've been fooled by a rock image. Fooled. Not even a friggin' lock crate. For God's sakes. We're going to hit it a little bit to the left with that bear being there. And I see some fiber anyways. Might as well pick it up on our way there. We might as well do. When we find some shit, might as well pick it up. Hopefully it'll lead us to a nice crate. No, it's really not lucky. I don't I don't <laughs> see lock crates. I can't believe it. So maybe it's that's what it is. You know, they try and push that greed on you. Showing you a whole bunch of crates. And then I'll, once you get them... They, uh, they take them away from you. Or lowers the amount. I'm sure they're out of here somewhere. But obviously not around us. For God's sakes, the only times we've seen lock crates just lying around for no apparent reason. Forever and ever. And that, that fiber just disappeared on us. Yeah, that just, that happened for sure. When that happens, I like to look behind me, just to double check to see if nothing else spawned in. Maybe a locked crate it would be sweet. We have to be careful. I know there's a grizzly up here. There's a wolf there. Shit. 
seem to be really closing us off here. It's a crate that has showed up here. A bear. Fiber. Just keep myself looking up just a little bit. All right, we're good. I see some fiber. That's really close to the hunters. I don't want to cause any kind of problems I don't need. Especially two lockpicks. I'd hate to lose these. I swear to God, you son of a bitch, you come and nip my butt, I'm going to shoot you in the head. Holy crap, man. I'm just looking around this area because usually I find locked crates around this part. Always seems to be one around here, but now of course not. Of course not. That's fiber that showed up here. There's a crate down there, but that's freaking close to them, man. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's really... We're edging in really close. I know I wanted the copper up there, but... Not trying to be a little, a little wimp there, but God, I'm not risking that right now. Not with the stuff I have on me. Not with my SVT, that's for sure. The shotgun's great, but it's limited in range, so that's definitely something. I don't want to be that close to them. Okay, just double checking. Fortification wall is good. Still going. All right, uh, we can throw in two apples for you. There goes some water comes out of that sucker. And we'll split one. And we'll take our eggs, of course. Thank you. And how are you guys doing? Oh my god, you're not doing good at all. Uh, split. Split. I guess it was going to take three. All right, it's good to know. Let's get some uh, fertilizer here. Some ash. And we're going to drop that in here, all 200. So it takes about 100. 120. We can actually turn on a glow light if you want to and have those grow a little fast, but we're not that much in a hurry. The power is still resuming back at normal. How much do we get out of that? 32. So almost like we didn't lose anything. <laughs> oh boy. Am I ever disappointed? Yes, I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of I'm very disappointed right now that we couldn't uh, get anything out of that. I was hoping. I was really hoping that uh, that was gonna happen today, but unfortunately it didn't. But we're gonna keep those lock picks on us. We're gonna make sure we use them. And we will get to it. I swear to you, there will be a time. Uh, those things are going to reappear. They can't hide themselves that long. All right, they can't. Right, let's get the fat in here. Let's get 10. Drop in 10, which is 9.5. All right. All right. Turn you on. We'll turn you off for now. And we're going to let this go. So that's pretty good. This is actually going to render through. Hopefully we'll get some more. There we go. Biofuel. And here I have enough. So what I'm going to do... I guess, uh, sorry. Biofuel. There we go. One, two. So we get two more biofuel with that. That's going to turn out really well and nice and easy. We're going to split one and drop the rest of these matches in here. We always keep one on us after that last event where we... Well, almost lost a life. So we're not doing that again. We got stuck in the dark. We didn't have any matches. We could have stayed that night there. We couldn't because, unfortunately, no matches. So I took the decision to run back, do the run through the night, and let me tell you, that was enough to make you sh poop your pants. And it was fun, though. I'll tell you now, I had fun. And a lot of you are probably are wondering, I do, do you put your chickens in? No, I don't. Because when they're free-ranging, <laughs> they cost me less. So right now, they're staying the way they are. They really are. Let's get these steaks. These are done. Let's eat. Nah, we're, we were hungry. It's a good thing we killed that wolf because we were starving. You like some eggs of that, brother? Truck dinners. Truck 
diner kind of style here. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Let's drop the eggs. Let's drop the seeds. Got a quail. We've got some seeds. I mean, we got quite a bit there. We still have damn log picks. I can't believe this shit. It's unfriggin' canny. Once we're doing good on wood, that's good. And cordage, well, we actually can make that right away. There we go. Yeah, I'm really bad about the 25 minute videos. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, if we're out and about, we're doing things, that's the way it goes. And I'll finish up here. I'll clean up whatever I can out of this area. And uh, I'll sort this all out. So we'll be okay. So thank you so much for being here again. You guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, again, if you like this, don't forget the like button. It's always appreciated. This is the Edge for Game Edge. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.